Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you my Arda's Nails collection and do a little bit of de-stashing. It's going to be a long one so settle back, get yourself a cup of tea and a biscuit and off we go. I have been asked to put swatch pictures in these videos so where I have a fairly recent picture I will insert that as well. So these first ones are by bottle shape which is the way I have them displayed and these are the original bottles. Um, this one is a pale green thermal with a holographic in it and it is called Green Flash and the thermal on this one wasn't very pronounced but it is a really really pretty colour. Um, it's quite old now so the thermal might not even work anymore but I do like it as it is. Uh, when I buy thermal polishes I try to buy them uh, in a colour that I like the base colour of and then when they get stuck in this colour I will still like the polish. So this one's staying in my collection. Next we have Sacred, uh, this is a very very pretty polish, I forget the name of the collection that this one comes from, uh, Kat did later put the collection names on the bottom of the polishes which I really appreciate, um, but this one um, I forget, I could look it up but I haven't got time so uh, um, yeah, uh, I'm sure Claire will let us know in the comments below. So this is a very pretty pale shifty um, polish with a purple shift in it and a beautiful holographic as well. I think it's, uh, it's the only one I have from this collection and uh, it's definitely staying in my nail polish collection. Next we have this beautiful pink with a gold shimmer glitter in it and this was given to me by Claire Grey. Um, it's an unnamed proto and I really really love this polish. It's definitely staying in my collection. Next we have another unnamed prototype, um, this is a very dense holographic in pink and I think I got this one in a mystery bag of polishes from Kat uh, together with at least one other that I will show you later on. Um, this one oh so pretty, I've worn this once, um, I do like pink hollows so this one will be staying in my collection for now but it might end up in a comparison uh, dupe detective style at some point in the near future. Next we have Yas and this one was given to me again by Claire Grey and it is a beautiful dark ruby um, colour with again a ton of holographic glitter in it. I love this polish and it is staying. The next one is Amethyst Sky and this is another one of those scattered holographic thermals. I don't know if it changes colour anymore um, but I love it just the way it is so this one is definitely staying in my collection. This one is Mantis, uh, it is another um, polish that is jam packed with holographic glitter. You can sense a bit of a theme here. A lot of my Arda's Nails polishes are holographics and I thought I'd worn this one but I cannot find the swatch picture for it. Um, it's definitely staying in my collection though. And this one is the other of the mystery protos that I got and uh, this one is a uh, slightly green blue, it comes off a bit more teal when you actually wear it on the nail and uh, again jam packed full of those holographic glitters. Uh, when I swatched this one I did get that very strong blue smell to it and I was worried that it might stain my nails but it didn't and I did enjoy wearing it um, but it's a colour that I wouldn't really wear very often um, so I have decided that I am going to de-stash this one and uh, put it into a de-stash sale so that I can buy another polish with the proceeds. Thank you. 
Next we have Gunpowder and this is one of two polishes that I own from another collection that I cannot remember the name of um, but uh, it is a beautiful blue um, with a bit of a shift and a shimmer in it um, a really dark blue that I really love um, don't have a decent swatch picture of this one so I'll have to wear it again probably in the winter uh, and get a decent picture of it it's definitely staying in my collection though And this is the other one that I have from that collection and this one is got a, has got a very similar finish and it is called Fireworks. I really really love this polish as well, definitely staying in my collection. Next we have Shimon and this is a beautiful multi-chrome topper. I've already de-stashed a very similar polish from my collection so this one will now definitely be staying. When you look at the very corner of the bottle there you can really see all the different colours that this polish shifts to. It is absolutely beautiful in the sunlight. This one is called Twilight and it's from the Oh So Shifty collection, I can remember the name of that one. And this polish was given to me again by Claire Gray. Um, I have since bought two more from the Oh So Shifty collection myself. I love this polish and it's certainly going nowhere. Then moving into the polishes that were in the interim bottles from Arda's Nails, uh, slightly taller than the others but very similar to look at. Um, this one is big effing eyes but a nice fish and it is a very very dark blue indigo almost black holographic polish. Um, it looks pretty much black on the nails and I really love this one. So yeah, staying in my collection as well. Then we have a cream, this one is called Catherine and it was given to me by Anna. It is a lovely polish, it has a great formula, the colour just doesn't really suit my skin tone um, so I will be passing this one on to somebody else. Then we have I'm the Devil Who's Asking and this is the best true red hollow that I own. Um, again loving this polish and definitely keeping it in my collection. And moving into the new shape bottles, um, first of all I have a few creams and every single Arda's Nails cream polish that I have tried has been brilliant. The formula is excellent, it goes on so smooth and is really shiny. This first one is called Rachel. Then I have Sue which is this lovely soft grey with a hint of purple in it. And I have three minis, this one is Una. Then we have Xena, a lovely mid-tone grey. And Kirsty, which is a darker grey with a hint of green in it. So all of these four creams will be staying in my collection. And as you can see from the bottle there, this is the point when Kat started putting the collection names on the bottles, um, which I really appreciate. Kat, please keep doing that. Um, so this is Royale with Cheese from the Love It or Loathe It collection, and it is a beautiful coppery orange, which has a very strong holographic shimmer to it. Love this and also staying in my collection. Then we have I Love You Ken from the Child of the 80s duo. I don't have the other one um, but I might be getting it uh, at some point as uh, Claire said that she might be able to pass this the other one on to me. Um, but this one is I Love You Ken and it is the duck egg blue with that beautiful um, gold and copper shimmer in it. Really really love this one. Um, Kat's really good at making this type of polish. So no surprises, this one is staying in my collection too. 
So then we have the other two polishes that I have from the Oh So Shifty collection and this one is called Nebula and again you can see that beautiful holographic finish and the shift in this polish too. This one will be staying in my collection. And so will the other one that I bought. This one is Aurora and I think it is my favourite of all of the Oh So Shifty polishes. And then a fairly recent purchase is Stephanie is a Weirdo um, and I just love the blue and holographic sparkles in this purple. I'm a sucker for purple polishes anyway um, so this one will also definitely be staying in my collection. Tartar for now is a thermal polish and this one in purple and gold um, was a purchase from last year. Um, I really liked this one on the nail and I will be keeping it and again I do like the base colour of this one so when it stops changing colour I will still like the polish. This one will also be staying in my collection. Next we have my Proto bottle of uh, what was released as Tri Harder Unicorn and this is a Tri Thermal Polish that was based on a picture that I sent to Kat of a unicorn cake and it was a collaboration polish with her. And so obviously I'm going to be keeping this polish in my collection too. And the last polishes that I have here are the ones that were released by Kat last year to help raise money for Breast Cancer Ireland. Um, and the first one, January's polish, was Magic, which really is this magical topper. I love this polish um, and it's definitely staying in my collection. February's polish was Irish Sea and it is this beautiful blurple full of holographic shimmer and I will also be keeping this one. March's polish was this unusual thermal polish called Erin. Um, unfortunately this one didn't really suit my skin tone so this one will be de-stashed. April's polish was this pretty pink called Big or Small, check them all, and this one is full of glitter. Um, it looks like there's silver and gold glitter in here, and at some lights it catches and almost looks purple. Um, I don't know if I was imagining that. Anyway, um, it's a pretty polish, um, but not one that I think I'm going to reach for again, so I am going to be de-stashing this one. June's polish was the Emerald Isle and this is a lovely green um, full of holographic glitter and iridescent flakies and this finish is absolutely adorable, I love it um, and I will definitely be keeping this polish. Then we have August polish and this was produced in collaboration with Louise Loopy Frog Nails and uh, it has that same sort of finish but this time in a brilliant orange jelly. Um, love this polish too, staying in my collection, definitely not going anywhere. So this one is called Pumpkin Juice. So then we have September's polish and this one was in collaboration with me and it is called Moonstone and I gave Kat a picture of a moonstone and asked her if she could produce a polish that was that colour. This is the um, final run version of Moonstone um, because I wanted to have a bottle of it in my collection. As you can see it is quite thin and it is intended to be worn as a topper although you can just about build it up to be opaque on its own. I also have a prototype version of this polish, um, as you can see it was a little bit lighter um, with more holographic glitter in it. Um, I think I actually prefer this one, uh, but I do like having both in my collection. I did do some swatch pictures of this one um, where I built it up to be opaque on its own and also I did a video showing it as a topper over a number of different base colours. 
And here they are next to each other with the final run polish on the left and my prototype on the right. October's polish was this beautiful brown called Fireside Stories and I am still looking for a brown in the same shade but in a cream polish because I think this would make a beautiful accent nail. There's a little bit much when worn on all of the nails together though. I will be keeping this one um, but uh, it might be de-stashed in the future if I find I don't wear it again. November's polish was the collaboration with Claire Grey and this one is called XY Zurich and this is a phenomenal polish. Um, I just love it. It's a, like a champagne gold uh, with those bronze flakies in it. Very, very unusual, very blingy. And I can see this one coming out year after year for Christmas and New Year parties. And finally from those charity polishes we have December's polish. This is called Gloria and it was made in collaboration with Catherine and Mrs Cronel and it is a beautiful purple with gold flakies in it. Um, it's a little bit similar to um, some of the other polishes that I own um, but when you look at the um, thermal polish alongside this one you can see that they are a slightly different shade. Um, I'm going to be keeping them all for the moment um, but I might be doing a comparison in the future um, but for now it will be staying in my collection it is also as yet unworn um, I will be picking this one out and wearing it sometime soon so there you go, that was my Arda's Nails collection. Congratulations if you've made it this far into the video. Um, I will be de-stashing four of these polishes and next time I will be going through my Cuccio nail polish collection. Thanks for watching, stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.